Hi friends, my name is Jiswa Devamanto and this is the third lecture tutorial on Katia V5. In my last video, I have discussed about 2D modeling options and in this video, I am going to show some 3D modeling options like pocket and pad for material addition and material removing processes. Go to mechanical design, part design. Select any plane, go to sketch, make any diagram. It will be better that you should constrain it. If you do not constrain it, then it will be also okay. But it will be good practice to constrain it. Now we have just came out from that window. Go to that sketch based feature and this option pad increase the dimension up to how much length you want to pad it and we have some options like dimension up to next last plane and up to surface so here are the some options up to where you want to pad it so this option i will use in some of the while we're drawing the sum of 3d models so you do not get panic i will use it in the some other figure so just press ok so this is how the material is added and or pocketing select any face go to again sketch so for using pad and pocketing you have to make a 2d sketch then you will be able to use this 3d features means anyhow you have to make 2d models now again just exist from this workbench now go to this option a sketch paste feature pocket give the dimension up to how much length you want to pocket that one take preview and make it okay so this is how the pocket is done so it will be better that we should draw some model and we will simultaneously we will learn how to approach the model and the how selection of plane can be done so for this purpose i have taken one problem so be here so this is our problem figure we have to draw this so for while drawing the for drawing this i have taken this as a base feature i have taken this base feature and i have extruded this 80 so i have so i have uploaded lots of example in my draw box and i have given my links of this drop box below my description box so just go to below my description box where are where various links are there and a lot of links are there where you can just take the downloads of various these examples and take the benefit of that and take download and use these figures and draw the 3d sketches of that so for your convenience i am uploaded these figures so take the optimum advantage of that guys so just go to again cat here so we have to make that sketch go to again part design select ok so we have to make, take this front plane if you guys not seen my previous video orientation of correct thing for making sketches then please watch that then you are able to understand which plane which I should take for making sketches so we have to make diagram for that so go to profile toolbar and make a profile for that
give dimension to that just double click on that to use again and again and see which dimension we are missing so it will be fully constant for giving modifying all these dimension select this option edit multi constant and give the dimension one by one so we have dimension this as 30 mirror extend so it will be mirror it 40 plus 40 because in mirror extend it will be taking a double of that whatever we just given suppose that I have given 40 so if I have selected mirror extend that it will taking 40 plus 40 that is 80 okay so we have drawn this base feature now we have circle so select this face and go to this sketch option and draw circle over there now select this option select this face and this define coincident Define its diameter value. Its diameter is 50. Now we go to this option pocket and cut it up to next or up to the last. Whatever you want, just take this select this up to the dimension and increase the dimension take the preview so we have done this now again select this top plane top face sorry and go to sketch draw rectangle dimension <coughs> no, it is okay
repeat it once again and zoom this part and something like that go to constant select this face and this face select this constant now give this dimension as 5 and now again go to dimension select this face and this face define consistent now again we have to define its height select this and this sorry we have taken a wrong dimension go to again this now again give it 11 so we have made 2 d sketch of that cut profile now cut it we have to cut it 40 so that means we have to take mirror extend and give the dimension 20 take the mirror extend take preview so we have made our component so this is how it looks like whatever it's given on the problem figure as you can see with the same orientation so in my next video i will draw some more profile okay so thank you for watching this video guys